Hello. How are you tonight, Leos? Leos, let's see what's the message, what's a trend that is coming into your energy. Message for Leos. Judgment. That's uh, quite intense energy to start off your week, end your month, and begin the next month, don't you think so, Leos? Judgment is clarified by the devil. Clarified by... Death. <laughs> okay. Clarified by Seven of Cups. Well, Leos, if I was not going to clarify, which I will, I would say that you have some very interesting possibilities open to you. Very shortly, Leos, I think you're going to have multiple options for you to choose from. It just won't be a one or the other. It also just won't be like, you know, this is what you have on this path and that's it. I think you have quite a wide arena to move around in. And regardless of what direction you choose, to go or what you choose to engage in Leo's I think all directions will be quite transformative for you and will lead you off into directions that are not where you've been where you are new cycles completely new cycles as you go off onto these paths Seven of Cups in here. This energy is good. You have options. You also under Devil. I'm going to clarify Devil. But if Devil is well aspected, literally means you can go and do what you want. Let's see how the Devil is aspected. Okay. Five of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, these are two, I'm only taking one. Queen of Wands. What this tells me, Leos, is that you are determined not to repeat the mistakes of the past, number one. It also tells me that whatever stuff that went down in the past, You're not eager to bring that forward to you. You want to shed it. You are completely 200% behind the transformation to a new you. That has nothing to do with whatever the situation, this disappointment, this lack has been for you. Whatever this situation is, this failure, this disappointment, this heartache, Leo's, I see that you are, have already put up a shell and shed your skin into a new one to ensure that whatever circumstances led up to this, and I also think, Leo's, in this energy, whatever situation, people, attitude, mindsets, etc., maybe even socks, <laughs> that led to this Five of Cups energy, you have disposed of it. Completely new tracks, Leo, new footprints, new tracks going in completely different direction than whatever could have been associated with that Five of Cups. 
death. It's an opportunity. Leo's, you have some good news that's generating in your energy. Number one, I do think for some of you, Leo's, you have gone through, at least the ones with this message, I mean, you know, part of this could apply, none of it could apply, all of it could apply, right, Leo's? I mean, I'm reading for the collective. Under judgment, however, know that there is a big change coming. And then, as I said, this change that's coming is just not a one-item thing. You're going to have multiple avenues open to you. And all of those avenues that are open to you, Leos, regardless of which ones you choose, which one or ones, plural or singular, that you choose, all will lead to a major change for you. Who you are today, who you were last year, who you are right now, as you get the opportunity to enact upon these changes. New life cycle, new person, new you. In that energy, we have the devil. As I said, I think you're already beginning just the mindset of changing around who you are into something new and that starts with whatever this mistake or this pain this disappointment this annoyance this pit this failure whatever this disappointment is and in devil and five of cups this is a big disappointment whatever that is whatever this is leo's you have already started as i said before to go and shed whatever circumstances mindset people etc that have led to that disappointment i feel in the in the devil energy what for these two energies to be there whatever led to this is like never again whole new chapter. I, mean, I feel like in this energy too, Leo's, it's like if you could move, you would move. <laughs> right? Everything completely different. And looking for new opportunities. You know, that was then and okay, so that happened. You're going to take whatever lessons you need to to recognize a pattern of behavior and that's it. Leo's. In this energy, brand new chapter forcefully closing the book on whatever that ish was and completely different as I said you're going to maybe I'll start with the seven of cups so you have options opening up to you life changing options opening up to you, Leos. On the Seven of Cups, a caveat here for you. I would say just to pace yourself. You could feel in this energy, Leos, like either maybe you feel a little hassled for time, like there's so many avenues, which one will you know and not enough time to choose? worried if you're going to choose the right one or the right ones and I think the whole thing here is you know take a measured approach don't really I mean options are not there to make you feel essentially right it's good to have options <laughs> even though seven of cups energy is seven of cups energy but ultimately it is good to have options Leo's it makes life more interesting it gives you more range to 
choose who you want to be, who you're working to be for tomorrow, the day after, and so forth. Just because you have options and people may be putting some sort of hassle on your expectations, maybe too in this energy, Leo's with some of the options, you could feel like, well, maybe I'm really suited for, you know, these two options, but, excuse me, maybe I'd really like to pursue these two options, but it's not, it doesn't seem like it'll be a good fit for me for whatever reason. I mean, you're placing self, eight of swords, self-limiting you're putting limitations on yourself <laughs> seven of swords people are going to competition is enough out there already you don't need to go and add to it an eight of swords energy i do think there is you know a tendency to wonder about the balance of overestimating your abilities and also performing for others performing your capacity your capability to others and I don't think you should focus on that or as it, these, this energy these opportunities are coming up really just continue to focus about upon where do you want to be what do you want to do how do you see your tomorrows where your passion is you know if you properly channel this devil energy you can achieve anything and that devil is a devil full of determination. Yes, there is like deep sadness there in the grief that's fueling that devil energy. But with Wheel of Fortune and Queen of Wands, this is a very capable devil. It's also not a lazy devil. And that's not a bad devil. You have a devil that will definitely act as the motor to go and get you to wherever you need to go. So I would say in this energy, you don't need to go and play into it. You know, just make your decision, stick to it, and focus on what you want. Focus on the future. Don't, don't focus on like the what ifs or put limitations on yourself or play into limitations of others or think about like, let's say the competition that's out there. Everybody has their own gifts, Leo. And it's good if you feel like some people are talented, or some people are after you. Just, just enjoy the fact that at least you're around, hopefully, some competent people if they are competition. And, of course, if they're too toxic, don't deal with them. You know, shut them off. You already have your own path, your own goal. You already went through a whole bunch of crap here with that Five of Cups energy. You don't have time to go and play their little whatever games. You have the future to go out there and get, don't you, Leos? So just throwing that out there as well. Okay. So that's like the caveat, just saying have faith in yourself. Pursue what you want to do, even if you may feel like maybe you shouldn't. Go after what you want to do. You have the opportunity. If you didn't have the opportunity to go after what you want to do, excuse me, if you weren't capable of going after these things you wouldn't have the opportunity in the first place okay leas anyway devil or not devil death the final energy under judgment is of course the change you know part of this leos could be a little bit like love ish it could be like a little bit but really i see this all about your drive and goals to achieve your to be who you are more authentically who you want to be more authentically and in that energy so maybe I'll step back <laughs> In that energy, I do see some plan, you know, whatever you are deciding on, whatever those plans are, you're going to be able to enact upon them. You're going to get the opportunity to work those plans, Leo. Under High Priestess. 
may not be perhaps readily apparent when you first start whatever movement this death brings with whatever opportunities that are presented may not be readily available the, or readily viewable the full scope of what the opportunities are that you're in but I think after a period of time it will be you know there's going to be some collaborations and meetings with people and I feel like as you do that the moon the moon is beautiful here Leo's and of course we have an appearance of the Sun Leo energy beautiful moon I haven't seen a beautiful moon in a while and the tarot decks I've been pulling at least a couple weeks this is a beautiful moon look at that moon clarified by the Sun the Empress and the ace of Pentacles now if we were to take this as like you know let's say if you were there going oh well true love come blah blah blah, blah, blah. I mean this could <laughs> imply for instance Leo's very well could apply that um, a yes true love is coming or if you're already in a relationship this could see like for instance motherhood I mean we already have as I said big life changes coming so if that's something that you are anticipating here under Queen of Pentacle energy as I said there's a change that's going to go and give you stability whether this is job security whether this is family security Queen of Pentacles very easily can be both Leo's and of course you know take the gender as it goes take the roles as it goes you know all that I'm talking about the energy the energy of commitment the en energy of stability that the Queen of Pentacles is so I just do want to call that out that if you are looking for to be in a family and to grow little mini use <laughs> like very easily this can happen okay if you haven't met anybody yet you can very easily meet somebody unexpectedly that person is coming okay that's, that is a meaning that's here I do want to call that out very easily there can be a very deep connection that leads to a marriage and you could have a kid good also in this energy Leo's just as easily also at the same time I mean you know as I said I'm reading for the collective under death energy this could be just you solidifying again they said an opening for you to be who you want to be to be the authentic you that you have been constantly refining yourself and are refining yourself to be this is achievement this is becoming you the authentic you that you are constantly growing to constantly working towards constantly improving yourself to be every day better than, than the next better than the last this is opportunity Leo and I do think as I said if you want a family then this is family if you want career recognition and stability in your life this is career recognition and stability in your life and if you want both this is definitely both although I don't have any male energy here I have lots of stability and I also have indications as I said before of collaboration so if you are suffering from heartbreak regardless of whether that's from a relationship that went sour or that is from job opportunities that you feel you haven't gotten or just general life turbulence you know you're not living in the manner that you would like to live in there's going to be an opportunity to change that very soon for yourself Leo's you're getting a very big change and that big change is going to change you in a manner that once you start going through this 
the you next year is going to be completely different from the you watching this right now. And the you, who were you, last April is going to be completely different from you, the April that you're going to be next year. Completely new person, completely new you, completely new opportunities, more authentic you. A deeper you. And with that moon, a beautiful you. That's the message I have for you, Leos. Let me know if you like the reading. If you do, you can give it a thumbs up or a comment. You can also donate to the collective readings if you'd like. Details are in the description. I put it on tea lights and other such things. And Leos, if you'd like a private reading, you can reach out to me, of course. Mystic Galaxy Moons, emails in the description, or catch Mystic Moons on a live. And if you're a subscriber and watching, thank you for watching and your time and energy. You know I appreciate it. And if you're watching and not yet a subscriber, well, consider subscribing if you'd like, Leos. If you'd like to share your time and energy with me as I share my time and energy with a Leo collector. Until the next reading, I am wishing all of you the most beautiful day. Bye-bye.